Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video I would like to show you my favorite class setup and I would like to show you my settings. Maybe you can work with it, maybe you can change something. Uh, I just want to put it out here and let you know what I'm playing and how I'm playing it. You can see my favorite loadout is right here. I've got the MP5 and it's the, in my opinion the best gun in the game. So. I'm using the gold camo, I like it very much. And here we go. Stock the Eftar Collapsible. It's uh, the ultimate run and gun modification when agility is more important than precision. Collapsing the stock greatly increases movement. Now my movement speed and aim down side speed will go up. This is everything for a submachine player. You, you are running around the map, you are looking left, right, above. And you want to be quick, so you have to get your aim down side speed as as quick as possible now my aiming stability and recoil control will a bit downgrade with this but my aim is good enough to be stabilizing that so i have to get used to it maybe you should get used to it but whenever you do this is certainly the way to go now sleight of hand i'm not really a fan of it because i'm still thinking that sleight of hand should be way way quicker the reloading in this game is very very slow and i don't appreciate it but I'm using Slide of Hand just because uh, I want to be a bit quicker. Then Stippled Grip Tape, same as with the stock. It's aim now side speed and sprint to fire speed at this time. Uh, being quicker, but my aiming stability again is a bit lower. So again, this is for the, 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 the extra feeling of being quick in the game. And then the Merc Foregrip is more to get my recoil control and my hip fire accuracy back. The recon control is a bit uh, out of hand whenever you don't use this. So you have to get used more to it. I thought to uh, compensate it a, a bit with each other. So I put the Merc foregrip. I have been using the uh, Commando foregrip a lot of times. So I can both recommend those. This is for the recoil stabilization and aim stability. But your movement speed will be slower. And right here, your aim walking movement speed and aim down side speed will become a bit slower. So like I said, it's compensating the other uh, attachments. Then we go to the ammunition. And every pro in the Call of Duty League is using the 30 round max. It's a 10 millimeter auto uh, 30 round max. And it will deliver you damage and range in the plus. Your fire rate and aiming recoil control will be a bit lower, but this will definitely be a stronger gun because of this now i'm used to getting like two to four maybe five kills in a row with one mag and that's not doable with those 30 round uh, uh, mags oh well it should be possible but there's too much of times that the um, the mp5 are at a bit medium range or maybe a longer range does use more bullets and you can't you can't go on because you have to reload and like i said reloading is way too, too slow in this game so i'm definitely using the 45 round max and i'm i'm clearly getting used to it now you will have to know it for yourself i like the 45 rounds and i say give it a try with this class and let me know what you think of it there's no struggle i've got this uh submachine guns all uh, gold so i got the platinum camo for it I'm on the road to the Muscat, but I'm kind of still on it. But I'm just playing it out, I guess. I don't like the, the worst guns, like the, the, the light machine guns, the tactical rifles. I don't like the shotguns. Uh, I just don't like it. Now for the uh, for the pistol, and normally I would use a melee weapon uh, just to become uh, a quicker runner. Or, uh, but this gun, this gun is insane. You have the ability, the ability to, to hip fire, you have the ability to uh, aim those side and kill people with one shot, certainly from up close, because I have the silver field ordnance, it's for the damage range and that bullet velocity, this will uh, improve the range and that's why I use it. Now I have the lightweight trigger on and you can change it a bit up, up a bit, I'm, I'm switching with it now. But yeah, it's just personal preference. This is for the fire rate. I like the snake shell on it. It's just more like a shotgun shell right now. Um, so you can one shot people 
aim down of uh, without aiming down the side. And this is a huge, huge uh, thing to put on this 0.357 pistol. Then the stippled grape, we know what it does. It's the aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed, which get back up. And the aiming stability will be a bit down. But it's definitely useful because whenever you want to aim down side, it's really quick. And we have the slide of hand so we can reload it quicker. And then I'm using the EOD perk. Like I said, this is just a must have in this game. Everyone is running a grenade. Um, a lot of people are using uh, rocket launchers or anything. And I just don't like to be killed by one nade or one rocket. I, I don't appreciate it. I like to be people shooting at me and that I can shoot back instead of being killed by something. Nonsense. So I'm using EOD because it's a must. Then I'm using Ghost as a second perk. I don't like to be seen on the UFV. Everybody can put on a personal UFV and get a personal UFV by two, maybe three kills. Uh, so I have I have to put on Ghost. Um, you will you won't be seeable. Um, then for my third perk, I'm using Battle Hardened because everyone is using grenades and a lot of people are using stuns or anything. I'm using the Battle Hardened. I don't like to be flashed or stunned, but I have to say I'm I'm switching this up a bit. I like the amped because it's the faster weapon swap and sometimes I will tune up because it's uh, quicker for my field upgrades. Now, I'm on Battle Hardened just because I'm playing a lot of shipment, shoot house, etc. Those are the maps I like the most in this game. I don't like the bigger maps. Uh, people will be more campy in it and, and I don't appreciate it because I have no dead silence. I can't run around the map without them hearing me. They will sit in a corner and, and hear me like 10 miles away fucking running around searching for anyone and then suddenly I see three faces from every corner popping out because they hear my footsteps so yeah I'm, I'm a bit in a hmm, down talk on this call of duty right now so let's go on I'm using the same text you see um, I've been using the frag grenade a lot Sometimes for missions I use the Claymore or Proximity Mine, but I don't appreciate those. The Termite is something else, it's just like a throwing knife. Both are insanely funny to use. Um, the Termite will do damage whenever it's a stick on the floor uh, and someone will run by it. So it's definitely useful. Um, I'm sticking to the grenades because I love them the most. Um, yeah. And then I'm using the Stim as a tactical. I am used to it because of Black Ops 4. Whenever you got shot, you will have to heal, and that's when it was normal. But right now, your healing, it will be so slow whenever you get hit. Sometimes people will use bullets that will slow down your healing process. And I'm just used to this thing, so I'm pressing my tactical button, and I'm immediately back to full health. So definitely a recommendation. Uh, all the other things, I guess, are a bit weak for noobs. I don't like noobs and I like noobs to become better. So please give this a, a chance. Give this class set up somewhere. <laughs> I'll show it once again. Please give it a try and let me know how you did with it. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. You're gonna defuse you, you're gonna defuse me. Fever, defuse, defuse, Fever. Defuse, defuse, defuse. Far away, defuse, far away, you're far away, defuse. And nu zie je wel bij me, denk ik.
would meet him in the middle one. Twee man boven op de brug gaan. Eén zit in het midden op die auto, hè? Oh, boven je, boven je. Ja, lekker boys, lekker papies. Papapapulo, papapapulo. We need a control. Oh, oh. oh, oh yes. sit down, sit down. Woohoo, that was actually. No, shit, the game is camping. That's the here binnen. Yeah, I'm okay. Come here, Elko. Tu veux pas tu voulais des cafés en fait Tu lui montres Kofi with me What Oh non Oh non Oh non Oh non Oh 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 Oh, jongens, jongens, jongens. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Oh, Oh, easy. 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 What? I would like to show you my settings. So we go to settings. I have, I'm playing on default flip for the bottom layout preset, and my stick layout is just a default. Uh, no vertical look. My sensitivity, the horizontal, is a high seven, and the vertical I will stick with six. Now this changes a bit from five to to nine, I guess. It's just with what gun I'm playing with and uh, which map. Um, for real, this is like uh, my SMG um, class setup, and it's yeah quite slow, I guess. I've seen a lot of people playing with higher sensitivity. People on PC will definitely have a higher sense, and I see the pros always use like a 5.5, 6.6, 7.7 five, six, seven, seven with their classes, and that's when I got back to it. And you have to maybe to a uh, how do you call this? You have to get used to it, but whenever you get used to the slower type of sense, you will definitely hit your shots better and be more stable to, to hit your shots. Because whenever it's quicker, yeah, let's say nine and above, it's more um, for sniping and long range quick changes, I guess. So I just keep it with seven, sometimes six, it's just how I feel. Um, then we go to the ADS, and my ADS for the low zoom is point zero, of, uh, point 0.95, 0 0.95, and that's the aim down sight for the submachine guns, for the assault rifles, and whenever you go to the ADS sensitivity multiplier high zoom, I got it on 1.30, and that's more for the snipers, eh? for the high zoom. Um, Further ado, my aim response curve is standard. No control of vibration because I think it's annoying. My aim assist is standard. And I do have my weapon mount activation on. Normally I would, will put it off because I don't even mount or anything like it. I don't, just hate it. I don't like the addition to the game. But I had some challenges I had though and missions. So I got it done. Now every gun I use for the road to gold it's also a must that you have uh, mountain kills and crouching kills, but that's a bit more normal, I guess. Um, my weapon mount movement exit, I have it enabled because whenever 
I'm mounting, I just wanted to uh, disengage from it. So it says right there, disabled, it releases the ADS tool mount and enabled is holding movement input from weapon mount, exit delay, disengages while weapon mount. Um, my aim down side behavior is hold because I want to hold it down, not when I push it, eh, toggle, um, it's gonna zoom in. No, 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 you then you have to put it twice, pull it twice, I guess. Um, my equipment behavior, same. I want to hold it, I want to cook my uh, grenade, and at the moment, I guess I'm, I have to check in a bit, but I guess I'm using the same things right now, so I'm not holding it, but uh, if there's nothing to hold on to, let's say it like that. Um, then my useless reload behavior is step to reload. I like to reload my gun really quick and I don't like to hold it. Um, and using it, I could change that, but I don't like when I'm reloading and there's a gun on the ground, I'm picking it up. So I have it to tap to reload. So there's no disadvantages or anything. Uh, my depleted ammo switch is enabled because whenever my gun is uh, running low on ammo I have a couple bullets left and I shoot them I would like to change immediately to my gun and I think this is quicker than uh, switching it yourself then my slide behavior my slide behavior and this is an important one is to tap whenever you're sliding the slide in this game is a little bit broken maybe they are meant to do it like this but um, the slide, whenever you slide, it will stick in the slide. So you can see it in the right uh, picture. You will stick to the sliding position and you have to get back up. So that's why I tap, I tap to slide whenever I'm running. And to get back up, I have to tap again. So I stand up. Um, what I do, and that's a good thing to start off on, and I can tell you right now, is the slide cancel in this game. Um, that's why I said this to tap. <coughs> In previous cuts you could uh, slide cancel whenever you were sliding by aiming down the side but that's not anymore because whenever you slide in this game and you will aim down side it will stick to the uh, crouching position or the sliding position and you won't get up so the sliding in this game is uh, basically double tap sliding and then x to jump but you won't jump you will get up you will to the slide then you will again press the slide button to stop the slide immediately and to stand up and go on you press the x button so jump so it's basically zero of a yeah, circle circle x to do the slide cancel now a couple of pros been telling me via videos that they are using a newer variant of this right now and that's a double tap the circle then x with aim down sight at the end so you're basically adsing whenever you get back up uh, but i guess that's a bit of an extra so i'm not using that at the moment but it's more um whenever i'm playing it will happen uh, you know when i see someone while sliding i will do that it's just integrated, I guess. Um, then we go forward with auto move forward. It's disabled. I don't like it whenever I'm uh, pushing my stick. Um, it's an auto automatic run. I don't like it. I don't uh, want to handle with it. So I just stick to the disabled and I want to run when I run. My automatic sprint, it is on because whenever I uh, push my left stick forward right now, it will automatically sprint tactical and that's a huge huge difference because normally you have to uh, double click the left button the le left triggers oh, damn it the left stick to tactical sprint but no i'm using it just by walking it's an automatic sprint then for the uh, vehicles i'm never on a vehicle but the vehicle camera recentering it's enabled because whenever you are in the uh, vehicle, you want your camera to be uh, in, in front of you, eh, looking forward and not being uh, left, right, hanging, and you have to change it back. So this is just an extra, never using it, 
but it must be easier to do. Then we go to general. Um, I'm playing on controller. Uh, it's been a couple years, like 10 years, I guess. I've been playing on keyboard and mouse on the PC. Never in Call of Duty. Since I switched to Call of Duty in like Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4, I've been on controller on the PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 3 in the other time. Maybe two, I guess. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm used to the controller right now, and it's, it's definitely a big up whenever you use a scuff. Yeah, I'm, using a, I'm using a scuff impact. It has four pedals, but I'm using just two for the jump and for the slide. Um, it's a big advantage. Normally, you could change your uh, settings from the controller, the buttons, the buttons you can change it. So you can slide with, uh, let's say, R3, the right uh, light stick, or you can uh, melee with it, anything. I did that for a while, but then I bought a scuff and I never went back. Now, my brightness, I've set my brightness to 47. I've had it higher and I've had lower, but at this moment, I'm sticking in the middle. This game is quite a bit light. Uh, a lot of camo characters, characters holding camo uniforms, I guess. Um, it's difficult to see, so I put it a bit darker. Normally, I would put it a bit lighter so I can just see anything in the dark spaces, etc. But this game has a lot of smoking, a lot of... Um, what do you call it, sand in the air, like clouds which um, for fire or nades or anything, which blow up a bit of dust in the air and you can't see anything. So I put it a bit darker so I could see people and separate them from the mob. Um, then my save area, is just a save area from the screen. Film grain, I put my film grain to zero. You can see in the right uh, picture why. Whenever you put it higher, it will be kind of blurry and you don't like that. You don't want it, just put it down and play with it. The tooltips disabled, I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's just showing off uh, what you need to press whenever you're on a wall or anything. I don't need it. It's just an, um, an extra for people that are new to the game, I guess. And I'm basically, I'm basically Call of Duty player now. So I know everything. I don't need it. I know how it works and I will find it out either way. Then my subtitles I have disabled. Whenever I'm playing a campaign or co op, I will put it on, but I don't want the text in my screen. Just annoying. Um, then my language selection. I'm playing with English. I don't know French. I'm from Holland, the Dutch. And my English is pretty good. I can talk it. I can listen to it. I can read it. So I'm just playing in English, no French or anything. Um, my colorblind type, I'm not colorblind, so I'm not using it. Uh, people would do, do we do that do need this. I'm sorry. Um, you should try it out. Just play with all of them for a while and take take a look what's working for you. A lot of games in Call of Duty, I have been using the colorblind type, and I have seen pros switching for this. Um, but I guess they are using glasses or anything. Um, but sometimes it's just better to play on because you can see anything better. Uh, some colors will come out better in the map. Or the, uh, the uniforms will be seeable. Anything. But I'm on disabled. So my colorblind target is off. I won't use it. The world motion blur. Now boys and girls, this is a very important one. The world motion blur and the weapon motion blur. As you can see in the pictures on the right, again, <coughs> excuse me, I have it both disabled because the blurry will uh, simulate, it's, it's down in the right bottom, uh, it will simulate a blurring of moving object. So whenever you're swiping left or right, up and above, it will be blurred and I don't like that. I like it to be clean, I like to be able to, whenever I swipe to the left or to the right, I want to see uh, someone in the window or on the uh, in the back or anything. And I don't like that blurry because it will be blurry. Same for the weapon motion blur. Just put it on disabled. You will have a big advantage over people who do use that. Now texture, I do have that enabled. Of course, I, I have the profanity filter disabled so I can talk shit to anyone and anyone can talk shit to me. The dismemberment and gore effects are enabled because I like the 
the overwhelming effect of Call of Duty. It's a shooter, people are shooting guns and throwing grenades, and I don't like it to be a pushy game, uh, a weak game. I just like the extra feeling of it. Um, I don't think people have to be like this all the time, but whenever you play a shooter, I don't think you can be harmed by anything like this. Well, game installs, I don't even know. Oh, it's the DLCs and the credits, all right? I'm not going into that. My audio mix is some boost high. That means that my higher notes will be more clear to hear. And I use this because of the footsteps are, those are really important in this game. And the shooting. I want to hear shooting, people walking and moving, sliding, uh, walking. So I'm having it, having it on high instead of low, yeah, for lower um, vibes. Now my master volume is on 100. My music is down to free because I don't like the music playing in my ears while I'm playing or when I'm in the menu this loud. Um, the dialogue a bit more. I, I like to hear them voiceover talks, but I'm not really interested. And then the effects, I put it down to 20 because the effects are really, really loud and I'm not really into it. I would love to be able to separate all of it so I can change my um, streaks audio and my walking audio and my shooting audio everything but it's a more and less i guess um packed package you can change here now my juggernaut music i have it enabled whenever you get the juggernaut it's the highest streak in the game you will hear music it's a sort of i guess rock music and i kind of like it i'm never using the juggernaut i've used it a couple of times and I think it's really, really strong, but also very, very clunky. How do you call it? Clunky? Oh well, it's not really comfortable to play in. Um, then my hit marker sound effects, I've got it on Modern Warfare to just be in this game. You can put it on Classic, so you have the normal sound effects of it. But I like the newer ones, and for this game, I think it works out the best. Then my voice chat, I've got it to mute everyone except party. I don't like people talking in my ear, talking shit, because I'm one, I'm the one talking shit back all the time, and I can stand it whenever my teammates are camping corners or when enemies are camping corners or anything. So I'm too much of a shit talker, and I, can, I guess this is the best for everyone. Then my open mic recording threshold is on 3.60. I've put it lower and I've put it higher a couple of times. But it's basically, whenever you can hear me, this is uh, the trigger. So if I'm talking too soft, um, this won't trigger the sound. So if you have a very loud mic, which picks up the, the sounds of the background, you can put it up. So you put it like four or five, I don't know. You put it up and you have to talk louder, but it won't hear the background uh, talks or music or anything. Now the voice chat volume is 100. I can put it louder, but it's fine, I guess. And that's just like the microphone volume. And then the voice chat effect. I don't have an effect on. Um, this is more for a campaign, I guess. Um, whenever I'm playing the campaign, I guess I'm gonna put it on. But I just have no effect. It's just default and no change. So let's put up my class setup. First of all, I'm using the kill streaks. <coughs> the Vital Jet, the Support Halo, and the Advanced UFV. Now, the Advanced UFV is the most interesting one out of them all. It's the Hater, the, the UFV you like to have. Uh, you can see everyone on the map. You can basically play on your radar at that time. You don't even have to look at your screen sometimes. It's it's really insane. It's how Call of Duty always has been with the UFV, and the UFV has been changed this time in this Call of Duty. And I'm not really into the new UFV slash uh, radar compass uh, input so I like streaks streaks that are out of my hands I don't want to sit in the streak and shoot somebody down I want my streaks to go up and kill somebody and at the same time I can run around and kill people because they are running and be they are hiding they, you know you have an advantage because they can't walk outside and whenever they do at least you have some you have the the opportunity to to kill them quicker 
you know, summer day, there's less praise on the on the road. So you can basically focus more on going through it. Same with the support helo. Normally you could put up the chopper gunner, but like I said, you have to sit in it. I like the support helo. Whenever I got my feet all and got a couple kills more, I'm basically on my advanced URV. And I got my chopper gunner and feet all hanging in the air. So that will deliver a lot of kills. So you know, sometimes I will put them up to uh, at the same time. Sometimes I will split it. Yeah, I put my my veto first, and a couple like a minute later, I will put my chopper gunner in the air. But both will got shot down really, really quick, and that's one of the minus things I don't like in this game. You have streaks where you have to get eight to well, let's say twelve kills to four, and it will get shot down before it even gets a kill, and I don't like that. I mean, people that are shooting down streaks are most of the times the noobs who are sitting in buildings, in corners, with the most campy class setups, and they don't deserve to not get killed by those streaks you got. So, I'm a bit different, I guess, than a lot of people in this game. But these are my streaks. Then my field upgrades. I've been using the uh, munition box for a long, long time. But whenever I put it down, I always see my, I find myself killed. And whenever I put it down, people will throw grenades or anything to it. And I will die because of the box, not because of the grenade. Because you will see in my closet that, that I'm using EOD, flag jacket in previous cuts. And the munition box will just implode, explode, I guess. And I don't get it. I'm using EOD and still I get killed by bombs of explosions. Um, so I changed it to the stopping power rounds. This will deliver you stronger rounds. It's quiet slow um, to recharge, but I have um, the recharge um, of that silence also, because I, I love that silence and I don't like being a field upgrade. I just like it as a perk, but I guess that's not happening anymore. So this is what I'm using as field upgrades. Stronger bullets and that silence just to wear everything and walk a bit faster. 